Hello everyone, my name is Shane, and in this video, we are gonna be checking out the brand new Samsung M8 Smart Monitor. This monitor is on sale at the time of this video, so I'll have some links down in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. Retail price is $700. I ordered this back on March 29th and it just came here today, April 25th. So definitely expect a wait time if you are interested in getting this monitor. At the time of this video, it looks like it's still shipping in around less than a month or so. Now we have four different colors. I have the blue color here, but we also have a white, green, and pink color as well. And for whatever reason, the colored options are $30 more. So it's basically like a smart TV built into a computer monitor, kind of like a two-in-one solution. Maybe this would be the only monitor in your college dorm or something. It comes with a remote and it also comes with a new slim fit camera. So that's just gonna be a little camera. There is remote connection from a PC to the monitor, wouldn't have to plug in any cables or anything. You can also access smart things with this monitor, which I have a ton of lights around my house which are connected to smart things. So being able to do that right from the monitor, since it has that smart TV functionality, like my Samsung smart TV can have Apple devices connect via AirPlay. It's very functional, works well. You're gonna get that same thing here on the monitor, which is quite nice. We we have HDR10 Plus on this monitor, and we're also gonna get built-in speakers. Type-C port that can give power. You can plug in display port through it, and also works with data transferring as well. So lots of stuff here going on with the Samsung M8 monitor. I'm super excited to check it out with you guys. Again, we have the blue color here. Top, we have our monitor. Go ahead and move that to the side for a second. Oh, very slim. Love it. Let's see what else we get in the box. Feels like we do have the stand here. All right, liking that blue color too. Excited to see that on the monitor itself. So this is the actual stand portion. This is what will sit on your desk. It is very heavy for how thin it is, very sturdy. I'm excited for this stand on the M8 because I just didn't end up using the M7 monitor from last year because the stand was so tiny and the monitor would wobble very easily. So I'm super excited to see a much wider stand this year. This base is definitely metal, but this stand here is kind of plasticky. And lastly, we have a whole bundle of goodies here. Not used to getting this many things in the box of a Samsung product these days. Inside that massive packet, we just have some papers and manuals. We have our camera that is going to attach onto the back of the monitor. And then there's also a little type C adapter that goes with that as well. Speaking of power, this is our power plug and this is the pretty beefy power brick. We have a Type-C to Type-C cable. We also have what looks to be a HDMI to micro HDMI. So we'll check out the ports on this monitor in a second. And then we have our remote. I wish there was a YouTube button, but not here on this one. We have a Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime Video, and Samsung TV Plus buttons. We have some buttons on both sides here to go up and down like how compact that is. And now taking a look at the monitor itself, on the back here, yes, we do have a micro HDMI port. We have what looks to be our Type-C port with display port connectivity. And then we also have another Type-C port. And then we also have a button on the back that is gonna be for your typical monitor connections and such. On the bottom right here, this is our little sensor, probably for just our remote have some little things on the bottom, but I don't think those are of any importance to us. And I did not see any buttons on the sides, top or bottom. It's just gonna be that one button there on the back. The setup process is very straightforward with this monitor. You have three separate parts, the base, the back stand, and the monitor itself. And there is a Phillips head screw that you do need to screw in to make sure that those two things stay together. And as far as putting the monitor onto the stand itself, it was very easy, very straightforward. It just clips right into the back get a nice little sound and you're good to go. Now the monitor is also quite light, which was very nice for just moving it around and getting it set up. So when you start to adjust this and tilt it and put it into the position that you want, just be mindful of grabbing the left and right sides. You'll do that out of instinct and it might flex a little bit, but if you adjust it from the top and the bottom, you should have 
no problems at all there. Taking a physical tour around the M8 monitor, we have a little bit of Samsung branding on the left side on the back. There are these designs that go across the entire back of the monitor and the back of the stand. And there are speaker grills on the left and right sides. Have a very nice blue color here. But overall, first impressions from a physical standpoint, I'm very impressed. It's a very nice looking display and just monitor in general on the table. It kind of looks like an M1 iMac, but better. All right, taking our first look here now at the Samsung M8 monitor. Very slim bezels around the outside and very easy to turn on and get going. Just had to plug in the one power cable and just press the power button on the remote. You have two options of how you would like to set up your monitor. The setup did not work on the SmartThings app on my smartphone, so it referred me over to setting up with just the remote control. So we're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi here. Next, you can set up your voice controls, but for now, I'm just gonna skip to later. I don't really use voice controls too much personally. Also have an option here to go ahead and set up some of the different services. Again, I'm just gonna skip just to go through the setup process quickly can go ahead and add things later if we want to. You can also have the monitor auto select certain things like screen brightness and volume and such based on the room you're in. I can touch back on some of those minor details in the full review. So setup process was relatively simple and there's some nice fun music while it's playing, some pretty cool animations and stuff. All right, and now our first look at the home screen of the Samsung M8 monitor. So without any computers or anything plugged into the monitor, this is going to be our home screen here. Have a ton of different apps that we can choose from, but let's just jump into YouTube here. Jumped up very quickly, honestly has really good quality. Actually liking this a lot. Just from a regular viewing distance, this is a plenty sufficiently sized screen in terms of if you wanna watch TV or watch YouTube or things like that. No issues at all here with the display. Really liking, again, the quality and the picture and first impressions just of this monitor. Very impressed. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, Samsung's latest and greatest flagship smartphone. Initial impressions of the speakers is that they are adequately loud. If you're just gonna be having general use cases of those speakers, such as watching YouTube videos or watching some Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever, it honestly has pretty good sounding speakers. But if this is gonna be more of a dedicated monitor for you, if you're gonna be using this for work, if you're gonna be using this for more professional uses, it might be worth investing in a pair of speakers to go alongside on your desk for just a bit better of an audio experience. Initially watching a little bit of YouTube content here on the monitor, this video is in 4K resolution and does look great. Again, just overall very impressed initially with this monitor. And also very easy to just press that home button and go back to your home screen. Now, of course, we have those dedicated buttons on the remote itself go ahead and try the Samsung TV Plus option. If you're in a different app, you can also just press on a different one. So I just went ahead and switched over to Netflix. We also have Disney Plus. Looks like Disney Plus takes just a split second extra to open up. Maybe it's because it's the first time. And then we also have Amazon Prime Video. That opened up very quickly. So all that is found within the media section. Jumping up here to Workspace now, it just shows you all the different types of connections you can do. So in a Windows PC, a Mac, Samsung DeX, whether that's a smartphone or tablet, Microsoft 365 can be done through the monitor itself. First impressions of the slim fit camera attachment that comes with the monitor is that I'm actually pretty impressed with the image quality. It's not terrible, but it's definitely gonna get the job done for just those basic Google Duo calls or whatever it is you're doing. It does have a nice red LED indicator light to let you know when it is indeed on and recording. But yeah, overall, initially really liking the image quality and the included camera for free that comes with the monitor. And it doesn't look all too intrusive on the top of the monitor, doesn't take up that much more space or anything, really matches the minimal aesthetic look of this monitor. And after using it for about a day now, I am really liking the overall experience and the added function 
functionality that this monitor provides over just a standard monitor. I'm so used to just using a regular monitor that you have to plug something into it to be able to get use out of it, but you're getting use of this straight out of the box, not even needing to have a computer necessarily to go with it. And on top of that, just having a great image quality with the UHD 4K and the 32 inch screen size is excellent to have between a ratio of using this for TV and media consumption and movie watching use in addition to the productivity use, getting additional productivity from that larger size as well. And just a very nice minimal looking display despite having such a large screen size, it doesn't take up all that much space because the bezels are so thin. All things considered for the price initially, really happy here with the Samsung M8 monitor. Definitely gonna be playing around with it for the next week, gonna be plugging in PC, Mac, try out some more decks, just use some of the core functionalities of the monitor itself. And I'll come back to you guys with my full review, but super excited to bring you guys some more content on this monitor. So make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.